Oh my gosh. Beatboxing? Okay, question number one. No! Beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, we're going to have some better, please. Um, well, I'm going on anyway. Yeah, I'm going to start the gym if you want to join. <laughs> there you go. Right, number one. Cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? I'll say it, you mind. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, <laughs> I think I got awkward well, lip. Yeah, same. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I thought I would do an underrated or overrated video. So, I've got topics. Um, from people on Instagram and um, I'm gonna say whether I think they're underrated or overrated. I got this video idea from Brittany Broski. Oh, I love her. She could run me over in her car. Um, so yeah, let's just get on into the video. Also, um, I've got my sister. No, Wait. we can't move the phone. Oh. Insert clip at the end. Oh yeah, we. if we move the phone then we won't get this angle again. I mean again. the camera, the Nikon. <laughs> Nikon. <laughs> <laughs> the Canon G7X. We can't move the camera. So. We can't move the phone because she hasn't got eyebrows. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got Alison to help. Um, she's going to be reading them out. So if you hear her voice in the background, don't think it's a ghoul. Yeah. If you hear a man. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear a manly man in the background, then that's who it is. It's Alice. Right, so number one is... Cowboy boots. I love cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, to me, are underrated. Everyone... You've got a pair. Yeah, but like, do you want like shit flickers or do you want like brown toe? <laughs> but, I don't know. Like cowboy boots with the right outfit can look really cool. Like I know like, obviously people wear them to right. I don't know. But what do people all use cowboy boots for? You wear them to Coachella and that's fine. Yeah, Coachella, Coachella is Coachella. for cowboy boots. <laughs> no, but like I feel like a nice pair of cowboy boots. Um, in Sophia and Chintzu's vlog when they went to Amsterdam, they go to and other stories and they find a nice pair of cowboy boots and like they just look so nice and I feel like a pair of cowboy boots with like a massive like pair of like baggy black jeans and like a cute top can look so cute for a night out. So I'm saying cowboy boots underrated. Everyone go buy a, a pair of cowboy boots and let's just recreate, what was my play called in year six? Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called. I don't know. Let's all recreate Yeehaw, my year six play. <laughs> In the wild, wild west. <laughs> right, um, number two. Chunky rings. Oh, I love chunky rings. Chunky rings, mm, I think, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I don't know whether I would call them underrated though. Because, like, I feel like they're now... A lot of people have them. Yeah, that's the thing. But, like, they're not overrated because nice. I still love them. I would say underrated, like, tacky rings. Do you know, like, the pink ones and, like, the brightly coloured. And, like, I archived a picture of, like, loads of, like, marble-coloured ones. And, oh, I love them all. So, chunky rings, underrated. Everyone buy chunky rings also. Don't buy them from Etsy. Don't buy them from Etsy. Why? Because they buy them off like Shein and then sell them for 14 on Etsy. <laughs> number three. Well, I didn't do numbers for the first two, but. Number three. <laughs> they can't see you. Oh, yeah. Come on, girl. Phantom Neumon. Oh! Basically, over the past like three days, I've become a pregnant woman and I've been craving Phantom Neumon. I drank one and. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you this, but I drank a Phantom Neumon and I ate a share bag of McCoy salt and vinegar crisps before 10 a.m. in the morning today. Sounds good. Breakfast. But Fanta Lemon, oh, at the minute I've been literally like a pregnant woman craving it. I went to sleep thinking about it. I woke up thinking about it and I went before college so I could get one. Like I was set off early so I could get one. It might be unpopular, but I think it's overrated. Do you think it's overrated? Fanta Lemon? Yeah. No. Don't you, no, but don't you think though? Because everyone loves it. Yeah, on holiday, but like no one really thinks to buy it over here. Do you know what I mean? Like I rarely. So then it's overrated out. because if you love it on holiday and you're like, oh, Frank Lemon's the best. No, it tastes different on holiday, doesn't it? No, but like if it was underrated, you would still get it here. I don't get the question. If I'm honest. Like so, 
because you love it on holiday, but you don't get it here, then it's overrated because, like, oh, you only like it when it's nice and hot and sunny. Yeah, So you true, bang on true. about it being really nice, but you don't drink it over here. Yeah, true, actually, yeah, maybe. So, Phantom Lemon, to me, is overrated just because people love it on holiday and don't drink it over here enough. Okay, so we were just following a bit and... Vampire, that's what it was. Damon Salvatore is coming to... <laughs> so, number four, before the camera got cut, was Vampire Diaries. So... Overrated. No, you haven't watched it though. Yeah, no, I never looked shit. I, <laughs> I think Vampire Diaries is underrated because I feel like the people who have watched it love it, but the people who haven't watched it just don't have a clue what it's about. But like, there's so much that goes on in each episode. It's so good. I mean, I'm saying this while I haven't been past season four and I haven't watched it in about two months. Um, so I would say it's probably underrated. Just, just for the sheer fact of the people who haven't watched it don't like, like, don't know anything about it. But like, when you watch an episode, you're like, shit, I need to watch the next one. And like Damon Salvatore, you'll fall in love with Stefan first, but Damon, he'll come and rip your heart out your chest, no problem. Yeah. Number five, Mambo number. F oh, is it Jackson number five? No, what's it? One, two, three, two, four, four five. five in so number five is. JB, Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. Justin this is on Britney Broski's and she said Peaches was the best song she's ever heard. And after that video, I listened to Peaches, banger. Yeah. I got my Peaches out in Georgia, that's how she, I got my weed out in the da, 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 da. I'd probably say Justin Bieber's underrated. Yeah. The one where he's like, it's in black and white and he's got all his tattoos on show and it's the one with... Where are you now that I need? That album is brilliant, amazing. And I feel like people have just like shit on him for his latest album. Like it, I, like I haven't listened to it all, but Peaches kind of slaps, like I'm not gonna what? lie. I think mm. Justin Bieber's quite underrated because like his new stuff, when he was so young, like he produced bangers. Yeah, because he wasn't and, like, songs. He might have been. If he had Jaden Smith's verse on. <laughs> Well, I think Justin Bieber's underrated because I feel like he could do so much more with his music, but this recent album just didn't pop off, so. I like this. Number six. Friends. Underrated. Is this like the program I, or actual friends? I don't need friends. They disappoint me. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't think it'll be. Yeah, I don't think it'll be like. Say your friends are overrated. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate all my friends are all overrated. But right, if we're talking about friends, a TV show, I think it's overrated. Bit I, shite. I don't enjoy it. It's something I can put on, but I do think it's overrated. Yeah, like if it's on, if it's in the background, I watch it. Well, I won't even watch it. I'll be on my phone, and it's just an easy watch. But I think it's overrated. Like I don't really find it that funny. And Ross, oh my god. <laughs> He is the most annoying piece of shit ever, no offence, whoever no. plays him, but oh god, give me a David break. David Schwimmer. Is that who plays him? Yeah. <gasps> he was in one of Zoella's vlogs. Uh, I'm a Zoella star, if you didn't know. Zoella is underrated, everyone subscribe to Zoella and her baby. Number seven. 90s nostalgia. <gasps> You don't for alive, what though? So... Yeah, but like, for what though? I was driving in 99. Bitch. <laughs> no, you've been 0 0.9 months in 99. <laughs> 90s is my favourite era for fashion. Like, Chanel really ate up the 90s. No crumbs left for any other bitch. But there were so many good, like, fashion trends. And, like, runways in the 90 wear. I think it's underrated. Because, like, no one... Everyone's like, the 2000s, the juicy tracksuit, the... Blah, 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 the low-rise jeans. No, the 90s needs to be eaten up more because, oh, I just love the 90s of fashion. But, like, I don't really know. Other than that, I don't really know anything about the 90s. Like, what even happened in the 90s? But, like... I was just going to say, I love a juicy tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> I love the juicy... Yeah, I love a juicy tracksuit, but the 90s, for me, was so much more powerful than, like, the 2000s. Like... I'm sorry, Katy Perry was frightening in the 2000s. <laughs> No, but like, have you seen Britney Spears in front of her white BMW? Just like, that is, oh my god, run me over in that white BMW. Have you seen Katy Perry in the music video? <laughs> For what? Come on. Um, the one with the oh my god, three. the one that. 
<laughs> what did Charlie say? Girl, she's like, Tss. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, is that Ari no? That's Ariana Grande is the one where she shoots like bullets out of her titties. Um, I kissed a girl by. Kissing. I kissed a girl and I like it. No, that's like. Wait, are we talking? To wait, wait. Like two thousands, as in two thousand, two thousand and like nine, two thousand and ten. Oh no, I thought this was later. Yeah, t like two thousand and ten was like Gaga was like born this way. Yeah, and like days like this, I want to drive away. And she sheds her head in the bathroom. Icon. Um, she's an icon. She's a legend. She is a moment. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. Yeah. Now come on now. The she's Chanel era in the nineties. Yeah, that's Ate me. it up. Okay, so number eight is RuPaul's Drag Race and. So this might be quite controversial, but I've only watched, so I've watched both seasons of UK and season 13 of US and UK is underrated because I feel like they, it's just so much funnier. Like, oh, I just laugh, like I laugh out loud when I'm watching UK. Laugh out. Like, laugh out loud. Like when I'm watching like Bag of Chips and like, oh, I love Blue Hydrangea from the first season, amazing. And like it's just I love UK and I feel like it's so underrated because I feel like people don't watch it. But US to me is over well what I've seen is season thirteen and that is overrated. Like don't get me wrong, I love Simone and I got love Got Mick. But and like that's probably because I have seen one season of the US. But yeah, UK RuPaul's Drag Race underrated, US Drag Race overrated. We love Trixie. Katya, Brittany, and Sarah. Sarah. Them four. Oh, uh, we love them. But what? I love Raven too. Raven. No, Raven's RuPaul's yeah. makeup eyes. She's Raven. stunning. Stun. Number nine. Boys who smoke. Oh, I hate this. Shut your fat chops. <laughs> You've got a vape because you were giving yourself bloody asthmatic attacks. <laughs> Feds, it might look alright, like when, like, lads smoke, but if they, like, if someone came up to me and was like, I don't know, say if, like, we were out somewhere, and then they try to, like, come over to me and, like, try to, like, chat to me or something, and they smell smoke, <gasps> it would be, n sorry, <laughs> can I get some nose blockers for that? Like, it might look alright, but, oh, the smell of smoke. Makes me sick. It really makes me sick. I get a blueberry vape. <laughs> that's why I get rainbow skittles vape. So I think that's overrated. Number ten. I don't really get this one. What is it? Chocolate and crisps. Is it together? Oh god, chocolate and crisps. Do you eat them at the same time? Or... Have you never had chocolate and crisps? What do you mean? Basically, what you need to do is get a bar of like plain dairy milk and a packet of ready salted crisps. Have ready salted crisps. Eat some ready salted crisps. Then eat some chocolate, and then you make, you get a crisp, and then put a square of dairy milk on it. Eat it. <gasps> Taste sensation. But yeah, I think chocolate and crisps so underrated. I love a savoury and sweet mix up. You know what I mean. So that's very underrated to me. Eleven. Vasa. Vas. Oh, Vasa. Val Vasish. What? Am I German? The other nine coming in. Underrated. Water is so underrated. Like, I would, I love water. I sometimes forget to drink it, but I love water. Ice cold water. Ooh. Number 12. Podcast. <gasps> underrated. Underrated. Agreed. Podcasts are so, podcasts are underrated as fuck. My two favourite podcasts are The Girls' Bathroom by Sphere and Jitsia and The Fellas Podcast with Cal Freezy and Chip. But yeah, um, I think podcasts are so underrated. Everyone needs to listen to podcasts. Like, on a morning, when when you're getting ready or something, just put a podcast on. Because, like, I don't know, it just feels like they're there in the room with you and they're, like, just chatting. And it's just so much more relaxed than, say, like, a video or, like, a film or something like that, or music, even. Like, it's just so relaxed. And I just love them. Number 13. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. The game's underrated. <laughs> Not cat piss, never clean. Number 
Jen. Jen. Fuck Jen, man. Fuck Jen. Overrated. So overrated. So overrated. Right, taste beautiful tastes so nice no it doesn't even taste that nice. makes me cry if i drink gin all my friends know if i drink gin i'll be crying there's a picture at spoons that's like the copperberg delight and it's got like copperberg copperberg gin like a bit of lemonade and lime or something and if i drink that i'm crying by the end of the night sobbing over nothing it makes me really like oh i hate it like it just makes me cry it makes me anxious like i've been laid on the sofa I remember one, one night we got in, it was a really good night, nothing, literally nothing had happened, it was just a good night. I was laying on the sofa crying. For what? For what, Jin? For what? You know what I mean? So, Jin is so, so overrated to me. Number, wait, ooh, Jackson number five. Fourteen. Skins. Skins is overrated, it's a really good program, I love it. But at the end of the day, it's just like either kids taking drugs or being in a relationship or like trying to like trying like in the middle of a relationship status. I don't know. Like, it's just very. It's good. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I loved it and I would watch it seven times over, but it's overrated. Like everyone bangs on skin's amazing. Effie and Cook. Also, fuck Cook, by the way. Effie and Freddie for the win. But. I just, no, it's really good, but, like, it's just overrated. Like, it just is. I don't make the rules. Jesus, dub, babe. So, ask him up there. It I promotes... Watching, that looks sick. It promotes drug yeah. use a lot. Bristol, get me down to the d and scene. <laughs> um, Tony Snowman and Sid. Did you say Tony Snowman? Two of you will know. Three of you will know that. Did you say Snowman? Yeah, Tony Snowman. <laughs> Okay. We're on 15. Summer. Summer. This is going to sound bad, but I think summer's overrated. But everyone <laughs> looks forward to summer so much. But, like, why are you looking forward to summer that much? Go do whatever you want to do in summer every day. Like, you might as well, like, just do the, sh like, shit that you want to do in summer. And just, like, go live the best life in autumn, in winter, in spring, in summer. Like, I'm not saying cancel summer off. Like, I love summer with the good weather. But, like, just go do whatever you want. Like, just live the best life that you want to live any season. You don't have to wait all... Like, you don't have to put so much pressure on summer to be the best time of your life. You know what I mean? You're saying you'll go sit down the bats in winter? Yeah. Bollocks. Me at the bats. Uh, four t-shirts on. Gilet. Puffer jacket. Four pairs of trackies, my wellies and my sledge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there is some things that are limited that you can kind of like really do and enjoy in summer. But I just don't think you should like put so much pressure on summer and like be like, oh, but everything's going to happen in summer. Just do whatever you want in any season. So summer is underrated because everyone puts so much pressure on it. Overrated. You think it's overrated no, as well? You just said overrated. Oh, I meant overrated. 16. Number 16 is Avocado. Overrated. Yeah. Overrated. 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 Yeah. Olivia Neal. Don't get me wrong. Avocado on toast. With beans. Slap, 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 slaps. But I ate an avocado with, and I ruined it for myself. I put paprika on, I put garlic on, I put every seasoning that we had in the cupboard on. Tastes like shit. And it made me feel sick, sick, sick after it. So I've kind of ruined it for myself. But even if I didn't ruin it for myself, I'll probably still say it's overrated. Because although it's nice, name me the flavour. Give me the flavour that's given you. Avocado on toast with poached egg or avocado on toast with beans. Oh, that is where it hits different. What number? 17. Pitch perfect. You on the roof off? Yeah. No, this is a second. This is from Pitch Perfect 2. When I tell you I know Pitch Perfect like the back of my hand, T you will know this. No, like the That is like a wah, wah, wah. Get me in the treble makers. You're so fine and you're mine. I'll be yours. I think Pitch Perfect is underrated because 
Everyone loves the Pitch Perfect films. Listen to the soundtrack then. Put the soundtrack on in your car. Listen to the riff off. Tell me every word from the riff off. Do you know who I think really likes Pitch Perfect? I don't know why, it's stuck in my head. Who? Auntie Hayley. Yes, she, she does, does she? She loves Pitch Perfect. Hi Auntie Hayley if you're watching. Um, but yeah, Auntie Hayley loves Pitch Perfect. I think she did. A, I can't do this number. A, teen. <clears throat> Cancel culture. Cancel culture is so overrated because, I mean, I agree with some people that need to be cancelled, but it's going too far. Like, someone will do something, the tiniest thing that every other normal human does, or, like, like make a mistake that someone might do in average day life because they're in the public eye. Everyone's like, oh, my God, can't believe you did this. Like, babes, you probably did it last week. You can't, can you comment in that? You've probably done that last week, but because they're in the public eye, and I mean, I know I've, they've got like more pressure because they're in the public eye, but at the end of the day, everyone makes mistakes. And I think TikTok is so bad for it because they will cancel anyone and anyone for anything. It's just awful. I think if you don't like what someone's doing, stop watching them. Yeah. Don't you bully them? Fez. Just, 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 just Fez. Move on. Literally. Move on. Sometimes it's a bit far, like you say, it is a bit far and like, if they're like nonsense and stuff, yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, like if they were like, if they're doing like racist stuff and like, yeah. shit like that, obviously cancel them because they shouldn't have yeah, a platform like that. Some people are like sort of pedos. Like yeah, I mean like, if you are a pedo, then get cancelled to fuck. Number 20. New Year's Eve. Oh. <sighs> Loki overrated. 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 It's just shite, man. Well, it's not shite. Like, Happy New Year. That's it. In town, shite. I found the obelisk. Shite. When we can have everyone, it's the vibes. It's the vibes that you yeah, want. Let's have a party, party fair. Newsy party, perfect. Because you don't have to pay the fucking double price of like the taxis and stuff like that. Drinks cheaper. Like you're with, you're surrounded by all the people that you like, mainly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I just feel like it's just like much more, like better vibes and better focused in a party rather than just being out. But like I do like being out, and yeah. like seeing because like I see people that I don't really speak to. I'm like, oh, happy New Year, it's like blah blah blah. But like I do think New Year's is overrated, like. We go from one day to another. We do that every day. Should we celebrate that every day? There's the years changing, but mm, New Year's revolutions and all that. Please tell. I kind of stuck to mine. What? <laughs> not eating chocolate because you ate that on the next day. No, bitch, you're a liar. I basically stuck to my first one, which was not eating chocolate in January. I've got an organised. I've got an organised music library. Stop caring really what people think by literally starting this. Starting posting on TikTok, everything, and I just don't really care. Um, also, guys, may have had a slight viral TikTok. You might have seen me and my blender Smaggy. featured on TikTok. <gasps> Smeggy B followed me. Oh my god, no. If you don't watch Smeggy B on TikTok, you're a bit deranged in the head, babe, because she is the funniest TikToker out there. She's up there with Britney Broski on TikTok. Yeah, her, Britney Broski. Smeggy B, Britney Broski, together. And Britney Broski follows Smeggy B. So that's how you know Smeggy B has got good crack. And she followed me. <gasps> I could have cried, I could have cried. The last one, guys. What, what number is it? 21. 20, oh, 21. Skinny Love Birdie. <laughs> Underrated, the most underrated song of the century. It's like chasing pavement. Skin, skinny love, skinny love by Birdie and Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> and Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls on the same level. Bangers, bangers. They're basically mine and Alice's karaoke songs. Are uh, just amazing. And I don't want the world to see me. Cause I don't think. Hiya! We're gonna sing Skinny Love by Birdie. You know the lyrics? Gotta harmonise, okay? One, two, three. Come on, Skinny Love! <laughs>
Yeah. Skinny Love by Birdie and Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Underrated, Carrie. Mum pretends she doesn't like you. She's anything. like, oh, I don't want to be in the video. Cooey. <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is everything for today's video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that good stuff. Turn my notifications on if you want, you know, get notified every time I upload. I've got a good video coming. Well, I think, fingers crossed everyone, come on, fingers crossed. I think it's gonna be a good video, not next week, but the week after, because I leave college on. <laughs> I might do a college vlog. Shall I do a college vlog? Let me know. But um, yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye.